Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how to do the something slice project. Uh, you want to pick an image that's busy enough that has stuff in the background, but you don't want it too busy where they're going to, um, the background is going to interfere with your overall project. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is, is add uh, or open the image and then make two duplicate copies of it. Uh, notice here that I hid the first and second one and the top one's the only one that doesn't have it, uh, uh, its box unchecked. Um, so we still have that top one checked. Uh, the reason why is we want to work with just this top one. We're going to add a layer mask onto it and then click on the layer mask. That's going to allow us to hide away some of this. So if you have a black uh, paintbrush, just like we did before, um, you can see how that's starting to hide some of this top layer. Um, from that, what we're going to do is we're going to grab a elliptical selection. If you want the elliptical, you grab the second one that's right here. Um, you just have to hold your mouse down in order to get to it. Um, I'm going to select out this back area, but I'm going to actually invert my selection um, because um, I want this, um, I want to get away over here. If I didn't invert my selection, it would only allow me to, um, to do it on the hindquarters of the cow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a black paintbrush. This black paintbrush is going to, um, to essentially hide that stuff, so I'm just going to bring that through. Um, from bringing that through, um, that's going to allow me to um, to basically show the stuff that's in the background. Uh, I want to go a little bit further than what you would expect, um, just so this way later on I'm going to bring this part back in just the next step. I'm going to deselect, and then I'm going to make another selection. I want to copy this area here, like the angle basically, um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my elliptical. It's similar to this one. I'm going to move it over just a little bit closer. I'm going to switch back to that white um, brush. And then after I switch back to the white brush, um, you're going to also invert. I forgot to invert first. Um, that'll allow you to kind of paint back this so this way uh, that edge of that cow comes back. Uh, the next thing, uh, you also don't want to make sure, you want to make sure that your uh, hole isn't too wide. Mine's just a little wide, um, but it's okay. I want it to be able to show some of the background. When we add the cheese on the inside, it's also going to bring back just a little bit here, and we're going to show just a little bit of the background. Um, sometimes if you make this left-hand side, in my case left-hand side, a little bit wider uh, and longer, and then the selection comes down just a little bit, um, it'll overlap just that other thing, and it'll give it kind of more of an illusion that it's being hidden. Um, but what you can do is you can just keep playing with this if you need to um, basically unhide, I mean, I'm sorry, hide more of a selection so this way we can fade this out appropriately later. I'm going to leave the top of that cow. Most of it's going to come back anyway when I bring this bottom layer back. Okay. Um, the next thing I can do is, is I can actually work on copying the background now. You'll see that everything looks like it's back to normal. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my clone tool that we learned in the last assignment. Um, actually, before I do that, I'm going to bring down a guide and see how that gets me that nice horizon line. I'm going to use that in order to make sure that I'm staying on that nice horizon line that's there. So I'm going to grab the clone tool back. I'm going to do my marker right over here, right on that line, right on that vertical right there, just so I can make sure that I'm copying that. Over here, I can, I don't want to click, but I can hold option, but I don't want to click my mouse. But that will just basically allow me to see where I need to be on that line. And now I can start clicking away. Um, so this way I, I can start copying from there. So now you can start to see that my cow is starting to have a big giant hole in it. Also that I have a nice blend between um, the original background and, and um, the new one. Up here I don't like this um, line that's right here so I'm going to go back to the uh, brush, I mean the uh, mask that's up here. I'm going to grab the brush, I'm going to bring the opacity way down, um, maybe to about 20%. Uh, black brush, basically I'm just going to use that and to kind of fade that sharp line that was created from there. Um, and that will give you a little bit of the blend. Um, now the next step is, is I'm going to make sure I click on this top layer here because I want to place in my object that I want to put inside the cow. 
I chose to do a um, slice of cheese, um, actually a block of Swiss cheese rather. Um, so I'm going to go up to File and then Place. Uh, I'm going to find my uh, uh, cheese that I downloaded and I'm going to make it um, just large enough um, just large enough to um, to cover the cow. Uh, I have to rasterize the layer and I'm going to use the brush selection tool in order to uh, get the background because there is a big difference between the, um, the cheese and that background. I'm actually going to get rid of the top of this cheese right here just so I don't have to worry about it showing up later on and then I'm going to delete it. Remember command D is deselect. I'll notice that I did get, uh, miss a little bit of black down the bottom down here, so I'm going to um, to bring that in as, or get rid of that as well. Um, one more thing, I'm going to grab just an eraser. I, I kind of hate the edge of this, and every time I go to do this, um, every time I go to do this, that winds up showing um, up in the project. So um, I want to get rid of that now. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn this in like this, uh, 90 degree turn, um, because I want it kind of the same size of that cow. I want to bring this in just a little bit, so this way when I do put this below, it's going to be hidden. Um, always make sure your object that you're putting in is smaller before we do this next step, um, because when you go to do it, we want it a little bit smaller, so this way when we do the perspective, to actually place it in, because right now it looks like it's just sitting on top. Um, I, when we go to do the perspective tool, we hold down this and we select the perspective tool down here. Um, so this way when I start bringing this in, you'll notice that it does shrink a little bit as we're turning it. Um, mm -hmm. If I don't uh, make this a little bit larger ahead of time, um, it, it is going to cause you a little bit of trouble. Uh, you can fit this in afterwards. Um, so this way it fits all the way in the way that you want. Uh, after you're done doing that, we are going to do two more things, and then we are completely done. Uh, the next thing is, after I hit it, get done, I hit apply. You can see that that's there, but it still looks like it's sitting on top. So we're actually going to move this below that layer. You can see how now we get that nice sharp edge. We can also move this around a little bit if we have to, make it bigger, smaller, whatever it may be. Um, and now I'm going to add one more mask. It's going to be on this cheese. Um, the reason being is I want to get rid of the extra stuff that we don't need. So again, I'm going to grab my black uh, brush, uh, make sure I'm click on the layer mask, and that will allow me to hide it. I still have my opacity down from earlier, so I'm going to put that all the way back up. And that will allow me to cut this away, make it nice and round because the cowl has kind of a rounder body. I'm going to leave it a little flat down the bottom because on the bottom of the cowl it is a little flat down there. Um, now the last little bits that I can do just for kind of fun, um, there's what's known as the burn tool right above the clone tool. Uh, I can click the original image here and what I can do is I can add kind of a little bit of a shadow here just by clicking and dragging. Um, that'll make that object look like it's sitting in just a little bit, kind of grab the edges a little bit so they are not uh, as bright um, because this is the inside. Um, now that it's a little bit darker, it looks like it's sitting in there a lot better. Um, and that's about it. So you just kind of play with the project until it looks cool. Uh, after you're done, make sure that you go up to File. I like to save my history with my document. I hit, uh, you'll have to hit Yes. Put File, Save As. Um, remember, you should be um, naming your assignments after the projects themselves. Um, so this is media assignment number eight, something sliced. After you save it, you need to go to file, export. We're going to export it as a JPEG. We're going to leave everything here the same. We hit export. Uh, I'm saving mine in a specific folder so I can find them later. Save and then you upload that JPEG and you are done. Let me know if you have any questions.